All right. So Kanye West is speaking out. Whatever this man does just goes viral because everybody wants to talk about it. The man just speaks and everybody listens regardless of the stuff that comes out of his mouth. And it, yeah. We're gonna just get into this. Hey guys, it's Morad Moradi. Hope you guys are doing well today. Back at it again with another video. If you have not subscribed, guys, click that button. A daily and consistent content. And let's get straight into this video. I was meant to come out with this video way ages ago in the afternoon. But guys, I don't know about you, but this sunset at 4 p.m. situation in London right now is not for me. It's not for my spirit. It's not for my soul. I just feel like low energy. I'm taking my vitamins and whatever. But at the same time, I just feel I just came back from Switzerland. Sunset was at 6 p.m. That change and this kind of hour difference, it really bugs my spirit and I hate it because you just feel, you know, lethargic, lazy, a bit, you know, you just we need the sunlight, man. And I, don't, I just I don't like it. So I just sometimes I don't sleep well. I didn't sleep well again and I napped again today. I don't nap, but I'm becoming a napping guy. Is this age? As I'm growing older, I don't know. But napping for me is something I just don't like to do because when I wake up from a nap, I'm very groggy. So I had to delay that as well. You know, after a nap, once you've woken up, you have to eat. How can I be filming after a nap? Please, I need to eat now. But at the same time, I don't like this whole 4 p.m. sunset situation. 4 p.m. sunset situation is really bugging my life. So if you see me in Dubai next week, close your upper and lower lip, please. Um, before we get into the video, I know I'm talking, but I really don't care. Um, we have to get into this shirt because this is what we call a fit. Like, this is, this shirt is just, it's just giving you, you know, rich uncle vibes that comes to the event when you have all your other siblings who've got five children, but you're good on your ones. You've just jumped off a yacht. You've now taken that one direct flight back to London just to come see the family real quick. This is what this outfit has given me. It's just like a little, you know, a small, small flex. I had to just give you a little fit. I don't know how I've started doing up, you know, outfit review um, before I do a YouTube video about something else completely. Let's get into this because Kanye West has spoken out in a very long interview. He kind of goes in on Kim as well and so many other people. He was really upset with Kim. Um, he says that um, SNL making my wife say I divorced him on TV because they just wanted to get that bar off and I ain't never even seen the papers, he said. We're not even divorced. Wow. Kanye added that the divorce was no joke to me, especially as it seemed to have caused the couple's children distress, explaining my kids want their parents to stay together. I want us to be together, Kanye added, before insisting that it was the media who did not want him and Kim to work out their differences. I mean, that in itself I don't really agree with. Just because the kids want the family to be together again, the parents to be together again, doesn't mean that that is what is best. At the end of the day, whether you have children or not, Kim has to do what's best for herself. If she's not happy with the man that she is with, just because you have kids does not mean that you sacrifice that happiness. Never sacrifice your happiness because your kids, when they grow up, they will understand because they will have that bond of love for mother or father regardless. And don't sacrifice your happiness. If you want to get out of a mar marriage, divorce, divorce, divorce. It's frowned upon in religions and culture. I don't give a damn. If you ain't happy, get the hell out. It's really simple as that, to be honest with you. Um, he also goes in on um, Kim's publicist and says that Kim's publicist F this, F that. And that, you know, Kim's publicist actually hates Kanye. And that could also be a reason for why there's so many articles being flooded online that are anti Kanye in relation to this whole stuff because I find that to be interesting as well. That was, you know, just just interesting. Kim has recently been spotted at multiple dates with um, Pete Davidson. Whew. Um, and of course, the pair remained close amid the split. Um, interesting. Um, and obviously, Kanye is not pleased with that at all. Um, he just, I don't know, he seems to just, he really went in on Kim at the same time still wanting to be together with her. Doesn't make any sense because if you want to be together with her, you wouldn't be doing or saying any, any of this stuff. He also then goes in on the Me Too movement um, as well. And what I find weird about him that I don't like, I don't care about the baby in the comments that he made because, of course, you know, everybody's, everybody's going to make dumb comments here and there, whether they mean it or not mean it. You know, and everybody's going to say perfect stuff. Um, but when it comes to Marilyn Manson, the fact that you are associating yourself with this man, and this, if you read up on what this man has done to so many women, and the fact that we're talking about cancel culture, cancel culture does not apply to somebody who's done horrific, heinous acts to women. Marilyn Manson is somebody that cannot be justified, and the fact that you are hanging around him is making me find Kanye West very annoying, because that is something that you cannot justify in any capacity. Marilyn Manson is actually mad, do you understand? The baby's made stupid, ignorant comments. But Marilyn Manson is very mad. The man has done so much awful, disgusting stuff to women. Physically, this, this, that. 
I just don't understand that you can't be doing up cancel culture in relation to him. That's exactly what he was doing, talking about power and politics. I don't know what he was saying. Kanye also delved into his controversial relationship with Drake several times in the interview. The pair have been at war. He added the style of rap that he was doing was more sophisticated than the style of rap that I grew up on. Nothing that Drake's songs had good melodies and good note that Drake's songs had good melodies and music. But after he was asked if he could smoke Drake in a versus battle, Kanye replied absolutely. And he also said that he didn't actually um, leak the address. It's just it's it's public knowledge. He also goes in on um, John Legend and Big Sean, basically saying that you know that they're not friends anymore and the fact that he feels that they owe him something it's like they don't owe you anything for you being a trumpy at the time or whatever and these friends of yours that you help change their lives and suddenly they owe you that loyalty no friends are meant to tell you when you're wrong and when you're right that's what that is what a friend is if anything that's what they were probably doing and he's like i don't rock with neither of them i had need, and, and, and i need my apology i ain't saying that they ain't gonna change but you know people are scared is what he's saying i changed this man's family he said of sean okay Elsewhere, Kanye shared that he was upset that Kylie Jenner's partner Travis Scott had appeared in a Drake song. He revealed that he called Travis out in a massive group chat that also included Drake, Jay-Z, Kim, Kid Cudi and Pusha T. One of the lines I said to them that was a legend is, um, I'm worth more than all of you combined on this text. Kanye seemed concerned with his wealth and blasted Forbes for declaring his former sister-in-law Kylie Jenner a billionaire. So the fact that he put Jay-Z, Kim, Drake all in a message in a group chat and was like, I'm worth more than all of you. That is some that is some funny. I'm sorry. That is just hilarious. That stuff is absolutely funny, funny, funny. He then mentions Britney. I don't know why he he. Ha I don't know why people love to mention Britney about shaving his head and that it was a Britney moment. Like it's just not funny. Do you know, that leave Britney alone. Why do people want to mention this girl? This girl has done. This girl, Britney Spears, is the most un unproblematic white girl that I have ever seen in the music industry. She has done nothing to anybody. Leave her alone. Everyone wants to just be dragging up Britney for what? I don't know. You just mentioned her, but at the same time, it's like leave, don't keep her out your mouth, man. Like I don't understand. Obviously, he then also admits that he still is a Trumpy. He indicates that he still supports Trump's right wing movement. I've still got a red hat on today. I'll let you guys know that. I might not get on at the moment, but I'll let you all know what I stand. The thing is, this man can do anything and everybody will watch. The podcast interview has, it's not even been 24 hours and the man has nearly 3 million views on that YouTube video and it's trending number one. People are discussing it here and there. And I do feel like anything this man does, whether you like it or dislike it, there is some kind of addiction to him. People like to see him and, you know, want to see more and more and more. Like he has a kind of genius mentality in what he does, whether it's wrong or right. However, my only issue with Kanye isn't everything that he's done with Big Sean and this is that. Even, it isn't even the Trump stuff. Realistically speaking, anybody is entitled to their political points of view. You can't expect somebody to be this and that. My own issue is the fact that he is associating himself with Marilyn Manson. I'm talking about cancel culture. When this man has done awful, 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 disgusting stuff to people. That is my issue. That is my, like, that is my main issue. Marilyn Manson is not one to be friends with. Look it all up, please. It's all public information. Let me know your thoughts are. Subscribe to the channel, guys. Click that button. A daily and consistent content. Talks about everything. WhatsApp group chats. Kid, um, Big Sean. John Legend. The divorce stuff with Kim. Being a Trumpy. Drake. Matt. Mad, mad, mad. <sighs> Subscribe, guys. Click that button for daily and consistent content. And I will catch you guys soon for another video.